If you're a man over 40 looking to get in great shape, possibly the best shape of your life, this video is for you. All right, so let's just talk honestly right now, and this is me just off the top of my head, sharing with you a lot of what I'm witnessing in this industry that is misinformation at best. I'm not gonna say it's a lie, I'm not gonna say that people are intentionally trying to mislead you, but you're being misinformed in regards to what it takes to get in shape at any age. It doesn't matter if you're 40, 50, 60, or 20 for that matter. The bottom line is this, we have to stick with the basics. And if you're not familiar with what the basics are, in my opinion, I'm gonna share that with you. I'm gonna give you a simple acronym to remember it, but all of this biohacking stuff that we're getting overwhelmed with on the internet, you know what I'm talking about. If you're scrolling the internet on Instagram or TikTok or anything else, you see these biohackers who, in my opinion, have lost their mind. They're trying to share information with you in an attempt to make you think that they are way smarter than not you, not me, not anyone else, but our human body. Like they figured out a way to hack this beautiful organism that we get to exist in and think that by telling you these idiotic things, it's gonna create a shortcut to you losing weight, building muscle, having more energy, feeling optimized, and really existing on this planet at your highest possible level. So it's not that any of us are gonna be at 100% all the time because life is going to throw stuff at us like what I am currently dealing with, for example, if you don't know I have cancer and that is a bump in the road that I am managing that I was not expecting. So if you would look at it in regards to is Clark Bartram completely healthy, the answer would be no because I have cancer in my body, which by the way, we all do. Mine is just manifesting itself in a way now that it needs to be dealt with. So I mentioned an acronym, and the acronym is this. It's very simple, SET. So SET is sleep, eat, and train. That's really what it comes down to if you want to be in the best possible shape ever. Because sleep, if you ask anyone, even these biohackers, they're gonna tell you that sleep is the single most important thing that we as humans need to do, especially as we age. The older you get, it's not how hard you train, it's how much you can recover so you can train again and again and again throughout the rest of your life because this shouldn't be a 12 week endeavor for you, it should be the rest of your life. Now I've been told over the years, don't say things like lifestyle, don't say mindset because no one wants to hear that. Well, I don't care. That is exactly what you need to hear. This is a lifestyle and it takes a mindset to do the things that are necessary for you to lose 100 pounds, to put on 10 pounds of muscle, to have energy all day long and feel optimized in your life, whether you're in an office or I just heard my trash men there getting up at three in the morning and picking up people's trash. All of these are very important people in life and we need to be operating at our best in order to do that. So with this concept of set, sleep, is vital, like I just mentioned, because recovery is important, and sleep does way more than recovery. Sleep is resetting everything in your system. When you go to sleep and you have a good night's sleep, you're basically resetting everything that you kind of discombobulated throughout the day. Now you wake up the next day and hopefully you adjust some things that maybe you did wrong the day before and you slowly get better. That's why we hear this concept of get 1% better every day. And if you did honestly do that, you would be moving in the right direction, maybe not as fast as you want to according to the scale or the mirror, but you're definitely moving forward. And that's another thing that I wanna caution you of is judging all of your results on a scale or the mirror. Because if you look at yourself 10 years ago and you're complaining today about being overweight, you probably wish you could be the 10 year ago version of yourself right now. And that is a version of yourself 10 years ago that you were complaining about. So understanding that slowly getting better every single day, you're moving in the right direction and if you do what you can, the best you can today, you're gonna be better off. So sleeping does all sorts of things. You can do all that research for yourself. I'm not sitting here trying to act like some science-based guy that's going to convince you of all of my knowledge on sleep. Shit, you know it's important. Eating. Most people that I've dealt with, this is the biggest problem, eating. And most people that I've dealt with, somewhere around seven o'clock, eating just falls apart. They've done great all day. They've managed to stay away from all of the trigger things that cause them to eat bad. But seven o'clock when things slow down or whatever time it is for you, you have a tendency to go get something. Maybe it's a glass of wine, maybe it's a shot or whatever, which opens up the door for the chips 
in all of that. Humans love salt, fat, and sugar. We are triggered by that. That's why there are food scientists who create food in a lab that is rife with salt, fat, and sugar. So you, as a human, get addicted to that, and that is what is leading you down. One of the things that's leading you down a bad path. So once you get your food in order, and it's not a diet, it's nutrition. If you look at food, as a drug and you respell the word pharmacy from PH to F-A-R-M and realize that food can be your pharmacy and that everything you eat is going to elicit some sort of response, either positive or negative, that's it, end of story. So you eat a bag of chips, it's gonna be a negative response. You eat an apple, it's gonna be a positive response, provided it's a good apple. So it's up to you to investigate what you're eating, why you're eating it, and when you're eating it, and then make adjustments accordingly, 1% better every day, and when you do that. Look, these subject matters are a lot more detailed than what I'm talking about. So I'm giving you a very high level view of what you probably already know, but I'm reminding you of the importance of these things. So sleep, eat, and the third one, train. And I've reduced it down to a, such a simple acronym so you cannot mess it up. But because we're humans, we will mess it up at some point, but you just need to get back on track as quickly as possible and then you're okay. So training. Train at your current fitness level and push yourself just a little bit. Forget your favorite influencer, forget what I do, forget what you did at 23 when you were a college athlete. Do what you can the best you can today. Be consistent with it. Lift weights. If I were to say, Joe, if you skip one of these three things, make sure that you're eating properly. Make sure that you're resting efficiently and then eat. So to put it in order, I would say it's in the order of the acronym. Sleep is probably the single most important thing. Eating comes next and then training after that. So if you miss out on one, miss out on the training is what I'm trying to say. It's not gonna kill you. And, and it's easy to work out. We have this idea that we need to go to a gym, we need to hire a trainer, we need to do all of these things when all you need to do is body squats, push-ups, jumping jacks, run in place, take a walk, move. Move more today than you did yesterday. Move in ways that are not going to be figured out by your human body and your body will adapt to it because it's the most adaptive creation on planet Earth. So if you do 10 jumping jacks every single day, your body's gonna figure it out and it's only gonna recruit the muscles and the nerves and the energy that's required to do 10 jumping jacks every day. So we need to change it up. Joe Weider back in the day had the confusion principle. Just change the workout. Every four to six weeks is what Jack Lane taught me, Clark, make sure your students change their workouts every four to six weeks. You understand me? Why does a why does a man you feed his dog the best food, but then he'll get up and have a coffee, a cigarette, and a donut? Clark, I don't understand it. It's so basic. Set. Write it down, remember it, and live by it because it's vital that you understand it's not about hacks, it's not about all these secrets, it's not even about science. Because everyone's asking me for research and data. Here's all the research and data I need. 60 years old living in a healthy body, minus the cancer, but that's something I'm dealing with. That's something that I am managing no differently than I'm asking you to manage your life with common sense, information that you apply consistently to your life and your body will change. I absolutely guarantee it. If you need more information, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that I do have a coaching program available. And if you are in need of that, I guarantee I get your results or I don't charge you any money. If you have any questions, ask below. I'm going to continue to provide you as much value as I possibly can here on my YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Set your notifications so when these videos are posted, you get them. And I really do want to hear from you. It's important that I understand that I'm bringing you the information that is going to add value to your life because here I am. I feel great. I, I look great and it's not even for my age. I am doing this. So I've been through life and I understand what it is that you're going through as a man in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s or beyond. So anyway, comment below. Make it a great day.